The internet is an incredible invention. It allows us to communicate freely, purchase groceries, do our banking, and see hospital lab results. This is all possible because the internet was built to be open. Unfortunately, this openness makes it almost impossible to secure sensitive communications and transactions. For example, email allows anyone to talk with anyone, whether they know them or not. This can be exploited to allow bad guys to send a message posing as someone they are not. Free browsers allow us to add plugins and extensions to enhance our online experience. Unfortunately, this can create a way for bad guys to circumvent the protections we rely upon, such as by capturing our passwords before they are encrypted, or following us into protected websites without even needing our passwords. Even the most trusted brands in the world have employees and contractors falling victim to attacks like these, granting bad guys access to millions of records, resulting in the theft of credit card numbers and financial losses in the billions. But while money that is stolen can be refunded, published medical records held by hospitals, insurance companies, and others cannot be reclaimed, which is why new legislation will require greater security than even banks use. The problem is that current browsers and email cannot provide this kind of security. However, there is a solution from the experts concerned about this exact problem which is why they have created what is essentially a private internet. Instead of the traditional browser which can grant bad guys unwanted access, they have created a lockdown browser which, among other things, doesn't allow plugins or extensions. These tools create a private internet used for special purposes where information is always encrypted and always sent to the proper recipient. It's not unusual for us to have a client come into the office with 